Well, I, I thought, uh, you know, Evan Mitchell had an interesting day today. I thought he, he threw some really good pitches, had some great sequences in there, some sequences where we had some big misses and, and some walks. You know, um, you know, five walks can get you beat, uh, especially uh, in these conditions, but somehow he worked his way out of it. And, uh, you know, I think that, uh, you know, he, he, I thought he was significantly better than he was last time, nine punch outs in five innings. But I, I thought the MVP of the, the ball game for us was Ross and what he did. He just came in and settled things down and, and got some weak contact and, and allowed us to get through those innings. And, you know, certainly it's easier to create offense when you have somebody on the other side that, that these great quick innings for you, especially when it's this cold. Do you really like John going with Ross right after Evan just because it's two distinct kind of guys? Oh, there's no question. There, there's no question. The contrast there is pretty great, you know, in, in, in terms of what you're, you're seeing from one guy to the next. And, and, and Ross just pitches, you know. It's so fun to play defense behind a guy like that because every ball can be put in play. And usually, you know, there's some weak contact. You can come get that ground ball. You can convert double plays. And, um, you know, I, I, I think, yeah, I, I think that's something that Butch does a great job of is sequencing those guys behind each other. A lot of chess gaming there, and in the innings y'all scored right, left, right, left. They change, you change. Yeah, somebody did the two-one pitching count move on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Although that wasn't two strikes, though. You know, right. we do it with two strikes, but yeah, I, I, I was kind of puzzled by that. But you know, certainly, um, you know, Porter had, had been sick earlier in the day, and we asked him if he could have an at bat right there, and he said he felt like he could. And um, so, yeah, I, I, you know, when when you don't, when you got Porter in the lineup, and all of a sudden. It's no Porter, no Ray, no Hunter Renfro. Um, you know, that's a big part of the, the meat of our order. And so on a, on a day like today, you know, we had to generate in a different way, and we did, and we formulated, and I thought DeMarcus took some great swings and, um, you know, just found a way. CT had a great day. So, uh, you know, Adam Brazier hit balls hard, which is shocking. So, uh, <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, overall, it's a good day. We, we really, you know, and I, I believe this about St. Joe's, too, I, we're really not playing each other. You're, you're competing against the elements, and you're just trying to find a way to, to keep yourself warm enough to, to be able to execute certain things in the game, and it, it's difficult. Yeah, we're about tomorrow. I mean, it's going to be cold tomorrow, too, and have to do two games. That's going to be really tough. You don't see that a lot here. Um, are you preparing for two games? or, or we, we are preparing for two games because, according to Noah, <laughs> Noah is telling us that we're going to have 7% cloud cover versus the 94 we had today. <laughs> And Noah's telling me we're going to have 10 more degrees to work with and that we're going to have 7-mile-an-hour winds instead of 13-mile-an-hour winds. So uh, not to get meteorology on you, but uh, I, I think it's going to be a better day, and, and I, I think we can get get two out of it for sure. You know, we still have some guys who really need to pitch also. That's going to help us tomorrow. Well. Mitch, Mitch got that, that big opposite field hit, nice piece of hitting. He had to feel good at that point once you get a pinch runner in there, which, which y'all could do that in. No you? question. And I think Mitch has been swinging it well. You know, that ball he hit last night, I, I think it's gone in any SEC ballpark except ours. And the wind's blowing right in his face. He crushed. I mean, I, I think I think Mitch is taking really good swings for us. He's just not getting a lot of balls to fall, but he got that one to fall, and certainly, yeah, we had to get a runner in the game and, and have an opportunity to steal a base there. The situation with Fullerton, he gets the RBI. I mean, it, it, that seemed like a tailor-made, you know, suicide squeeze type opportunity there, and you let him hit, and you show some confidence, and he produced. Well, the, the great thing about him is he, he if you have a force play situation, he's not going to hit into a double play because he can really run, and and that's what changes about, about him and some of the guys at the bottom of our order who can really run, so... Um, yeah, I, we, we need him to kind of find his swing because I, I, we think he can be a really, a really dynamic offensive player.